Ready to race board is on. Green light is ready to go. And we're underway then. Great start from Don Flitney. Great launch also from the number uh, 50, uh, 77 of Derek Jopp. But it is the RS200 of Steve Harris that storms into the lead at the first corner, followed by Andy Grant. He got away like an absolute stab rat at the first start of it. Uh, Brad Sampson, though, sadly, not getting away well at all. He's right towards the back of the tail field. Yeah, and Andy Grant's going to try and make a move on the ex-Barry Squibb Ford Escort of Derek Job into the Devil's Elbow. Shows his nose, a little bit of contact between the two Fords, but they're still line of stern for now, or are they? Because Andy Grant's going to try right around the outside at the North Bend hairpin, and Job is just going to lose second place. So through comes Andy Grant. He's gone from the very back to second in less than a lap. So he has really made a race of it. That jump start Randy Grant, he would have run away with this, I'm sure, but now he's really got his work cut out to catch that Mark Brennison replica of Steve Harris ahead of him, and it will be soon staring at the rear wing of the RS200 because the GTEC Focus is coming and it is going like a train with five laps to run of this retro final. We're on the second of five laps and Andy Grant with no joker lap to play has got to do it on the circuit. He's got to get chase and catch the RS200 and then do the move. Yeah, it certainly has up through the top of North Bend they go and then down the hill. You can see there Andy Grant as he uh, runs his race and well starting from the back of the career might have actually ended up being a blessing in disguise because uh, the whole of the field was caught up in the concertina trying to avoid Brad Sampson who was in the uh, green and black Mitsubishi who just went past your shots as they come through to the final into the first corner through Chesson's Drift then really close indeed now Andy Grant into the back there of Steve Harris coming out of Chesson Drift and down into the Dover Slope in towards the Devil's Elbow. This could be the opportunity that he's looking for. Is he going to be able to go through? Not quite through there, but you certainly know that it's only a matter of time before he has a go. Steve Harris is out wide, going through the Devil's Elbow, up the run to the top of the hill. They go into the hairpin bend. No opportunity presenting itself thus far, but a good run out of here down the hill. Could be the opportunity that he's looking for, and it is the opportunity that he's looking for. Grant goes through into the race lead then, ahead of Steve Harris. Grassy moment for Steve Harris at the place you really don't want to be on the grass, down the hill, out of North Bend Airpin. And suddenly we're on to lap four of five. Two laps left to run then of the Lyndon Hill circuit for Steve Harris to try and wrestle top spot away from Andy Grant. But it looks like the pole sitter will now be able to canter away into top spot. He turns into Devil's Elbow. And hard on the power up the hill as Derek Job and Don Flitney are having their own private little battle over fourth spot. Just can see from uh, our commentary position, we talked briefly on the camera that uh, sadly Ian Flitney's race has come to an end. He's parked up top of uh, Pilgrims by the Joker lap, sadly, so his car is going to need to be recovered before we get the next final underway here at uh, Lyndon Hill. But uh, around the final corner we go over the timing line. And it's still Andy Grant that has a good advantage on the final lap. What a great race it has been for him here uh, so far. Hugely impressive performance. Yeah, really good stuff from Andy. And this retro four-wheel drive class has given him a place to race the Ford Focus supercar because it was ageing and it couldn't really compete on a level playing field with the modern-day supercars. And Andy goes very, very deep into the devil's elbow, but he's got enough in hand to keep Steve Harris at bay. But it's given him a, a new lease of life, really. And, uh, Glad he hasn't retired from Randy Cross. He's back out in the car in the Ford Focus that knows so well through the hands of Gollop and, and Jordan in the, the late 2000s. But Andy Grant's going to do it. Jump start, start at the back, and he's come through to win. Andy Grant takes the checkered flag in the Group B and four-wheel drive. A final then ahead of Steve Harris in second position. It will be Bradley Sampson, despite that poor start, who comes over the line to claim a podium position in third then after what was a really difficult start for the race. He recovered very nicely. Derek Job comes home in fourth position in the number 77 ahead of Dom Flitney in the number 47 Subaru. And then it will be the number 36 of Joe Booth, who is quite a way back in the uh, green or turquoise Subaru, whichever you want to refer to it as. He will come home as the last of the classified runners in this race then.